Yeah, we're back. Last time we kidnapped Martin Madrazo's wife as Trevor, yeah. And now he's given us a phone call, so let's see what he's got to say. Trevor! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. That's so crazy. Uh, I guess we gotta go in here. Why would they start a bureau mission in a store? Huh. We must have to get to the top or something. I swear, can I? What way? Can we go through there. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> I guess we're not going that way. Let's turn around. If we go through here, it should work. Who's parking golf carts outside of liquor stores? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are we meeting on top of a liquor store? This is shady as fuck. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. Okay, so 
Wait. This sounds like we're about to pull off a heist, right? That is what I like to hear. Where's trouble? Oh, I'm not going with him though. Oh, so he's coming. It's got your store. Where you want to stop shop for night crawlers, steak bait, animal calls. Uh -huh. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Oh my days. I'm I'm definitely doing this heist before I go to bed. Alright, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't! No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in the wheelchair. This AC bank is gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what is this? <laughs> it's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? You! Are a hipster. <laughs> You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. Yes. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self hatred. Common hipster affliction. <laughs> Because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto hipster. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. That made my point. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> that was hilarious. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? <sighs> Come on, man. Knock it off. What? Yeah. 
I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay. Okay, we'll continue this mission when we go when we come back in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, check out my links below. Caesar Augustus out on the 27th of September. I'll see you next time.